And welcome to the news at four. It was a visit that had all of Idaho and some of the nation talking. Ivanka Trump and Apple CEO Tim Cook's visit to Wilder Elementary School. The two visited Wilder Elementary School to reinforce their commitment to technology in the classrooms, along with workforce and STEM development. While much of the town and the school welcomed Trump and Cook's visit, there were a few not so happy. Our Morgan Boydston is in Wilder, where she has been covering the event since this morning. Morgan. Brian and Kim first daughter Ivanka Trump and Apple CEO Tim Cook stayed at Wilder Elementary School for a couple of hours with the hype winding down around 1230. The Wilder School District Superintendent says everything happened in a heartbeat. It was a very different kind of experience for them. But overall, he says students and the visitors enjoyed the experience. Around 1015 Tuesday morning. I don't love Trump. Amid chants from supporters and protesters. Ivanka Trump pulled up to Wilder Elementary School. Apple CEO Tim Cook and his team arrived a bit earlier. It was a whirlwind. His company invested in the small rural school district, giving them a grant from Apple's Connect Ed program, which put iPads in the hands of every student and other tech inside classrooms. Cook and Trump, advisor to her father on economic growth and empowerment of women and families, made their rounds to a first grade classroom. Well, it was amazing to watch our kids respond to the questions and interact with, with both individuals. Uh, it was just a beautiful experience. They visited with fifth and sixth graders in the media library. Uh, we spent time watching uh, students code. It really was about looking at how technology can be utilized in a, a school system. Uh, when, you, when you just don't use it to replace a textbook, but use it for creating, be innovative, and looking outside the box. Earlier this year, Wilder was named one of the most innovative school districts in the country. Apple partnered with the White House last year, and Cook and Trump came to see firsthand how technology is redefining classrooms across the country, promoting an interest in STEM and computer science education. Supporters gathered with Make America Great Again hats and signs saying MAGA and Idaho Loves Ivanka. We're thanking them because they're acknowledging rural America. We're thanking them because they're honoring a wonderful man in Jeff Dillon, the superintendent of the school district, someone that deserves this because he's worked hard. But not everyone is happy about the visit or the technology at the schools. Innovation does not equal success. The administration isn't meeting the students' needs. It's not even coming close to listening to what the students have to say at all. Others. Our students! Our students! Our somebody! Our arguing somebody. Trump's visit to the predominantly Latino community is tone deaf, given what's going on at the border. It doesn't really make sense as to what, you know, what they're doing here. And I think it's also using children as a photo op. This is innovative, and there are many people that would love to be in the school district to be able to take advantage of these opportunities. A little background on this community. Wilder is a rural farming town with a high migrant population. The school district itself has a high Hispanic population and high poverty level population as well. Now we weren't allowed inside the classrooms. The White House told me it was because of limited space, so we weren't able to film or do any interviews inside. Back to you. But we got a wave. We got away from her as she left and entered the schoolroom building there. So excitement for the town of Wilder mm -hmm. and for those students. Some of them. All right, Morgan. Yeah, Thank and it was still, I was going to ask you really quickly, Morgan, was there an explanation why neither Ivanka nor uh, Tim Cook would speak to the media? Was there any opportunity to do that for either one of them? I believe that the only opportunity that was presented was to ABC News, who had the exclusive rights in order to do so. Uh, as soon as they came out, they went straight into their cars, and I don't know where they headed afterwards. Okay, all right, Morgan Boydston reporting live as she has been all day yep. for us in Wilder. Morgan, thanks.